So guys, here we go again with another Team of the Season player review and this time we have striker 95 rated Alexis Sanchez. How good does this card look? It looks freaking insane. I have to say, I was quite surprised at how expensive it was. I thought it'd be under a mil by now, but um, yeah, as you can see, this card does not come cheap and there is very good reason for it because in game, this card is absolutely ridiculous and you'll see that very soon in the in game clips. Anyway guys, before we continue, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be very much appreciated. Also remember to leave a comment. Let's go have a look at these ridiculous stats for Team of the Season, Alexis Sanchez. Starting off with the mental and physical attributes, we can already see a bunch of 99s. Alexis has got a 99 stat for stamina, jumping, agility and positioning. Then we move on to the skill attributes and if a stat screen, it's dark green. It's a high rating which obviously is very pleasing. His standout skill attributes would include his 99 dribbling, his 99 finishing, 97 shot power and his 95 ball control. Moving into the in-game clips then, let's discuss how this guy performs in-game. First of all, his agility, he just felt like he was on another planet to other players to be honest. He is so fluid and so agile on the ball, he's an absolute nightmare to try and dispossess. His dribbling, his pace, that whole combination of pace and dribbling, it just makes him so fun to use and run at defences with. This card's got 80 strength as well, so he doesn't just have to beat defenders for pace because he's actually strong enough to battle with them. And by the way, just quickly, what a goal this is from Sanchez. Flicks it over his head and then follows it in the back of the net past Buffon. That is a great finish from the team of the season card. Now that was a good goal, but I like this one the most because look at this. He's battling against Vincent Company, a fast, strong defender. Yet he holds him off, he keeps going, he beats Company, and then he finishes very nicely, very accurately in the far corner with his weaker left foot. He can be absolutely lethal in front of goal with his left foot and with his right. So as you can imagine, shooting wise, this card is absolutely solid. Finesse, power shots, long shots, volleys, flare shots, whatever it is, Alexis can do. Passing wise, I loved him. Now, for me, he seemed like the perfect link up player because due to his high, high work rates, he is constantly on the move up and down the field, helping out in defense and then turning it into a lethal counter attack. Um, passing wise, uh, just back onto that, his crossing and deliveries are great, so you could play him in a wide role if you wanted to, but um, yeah, I'd keep him at striker. I think he really does suit that role. And the guy is freaking everywhere. Due to his high high work rates, as I've mentioned previously, he is attacking, he is defending, he is doing it all, he covers so much ground, and yeah, even with that, even with him having these high high work rates going up and down the field, his positioning for me was still brilliant. He's the kind of player that if you give him space in a game, you're going to regret it because he will punish you. So in summary, I have to say this is one of the most fun cards I've used all year. He's absolutely incredible on the ball. I just hope that most of you guys get the chance to try him to see what I mean. I've been up all night doing player reviews and even with me being half asleep, absolutely knackered, with this card, I was still absolutely ripping it up in Division 1. So, is he worth picking up? I'd let his price settle a bit first, but if you have the coins, he's definitely worth trying out and I think 99.999% of you will absolutely love him. He's awesome and I'll definitely be buying him back at the end of the week. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on Team of the Season, Alexis Sanchez. I hope you've enjoyed this player review. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it, comment below who I should review next and if you've tried this card and how it was for you. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.